Hey friends, it's Nadia. You already know why we're here, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright y'all, shout out to the person that recommended this video for me to check out. I have never heard any Ray Lepowski before. Um, it doesn't really have a title. I'm not, I mean, we're just gonna get into this, <laughs> okay? We're, let's just get into it. Alright, get ready for some real hot shit right now. It's about to go down, so all you gotta do this, y'all. Check this out. It's, it's like, it's in Chicago, New York, or what and what. New York is just bigger, but dirtier. Uh, Chicago cleaner and smaller with not everybody living on top of one another. With all these different ethnicities, we don't know who the fuck is who. You the only place, in, in, in New York, is the only place you can go to a, a Mexican restaurant that's Japanese owned and worked. <laughs> what the fuck? Where's the authenticity here? I don't... I just looked down. This is just like a quick little thing. Because I completely forgot what video this is because when I'm looking down on like the YouTube page, you don't see the video in the title. So it just says Ray Lepowski. But then I looked at the little snippet and I was like, oh, white boys in the hood. <laughs> I remembered this is what's happening here. So I'm assuming this is Ray that's talking. Japanese owned and worked. <laughs> what the fuck? Where's the authenticity here? I don't want Sue Kim making my fucking taco. That don't happen in Chicago. You get authentic Mexican food. All the way from the shy, Chicago's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. You're seeing him on Showtime at the Apollo doing his thing. Good friend of mine rocks the house. Give it up from the Bad Boys of Comedy all the way to White Boys in the Hood. Ray Lepowski. Come on, y'all. Ray Lepowski's in the building. Turn that shit off. What's up, people? You got time for that bullshit. What's up, black people? Dang. <laughs> What's up, white people? Is it still raining outside? It was raining earlier. Just a little bit ago. It was raining. Seriously, y'all didn't know it was raining? No, it was raining because uh, I like to educate people. I see we got a mixed crowd, which is what I like um, with a little bit of diversity. I like to educate people. Like white people in there. How many white people have black friends? You better clap, fucking white people. There's black people all around you. What the fuck are you doing? Did you see him? You got black friends, white people? What the fuck? <laughs> We're outnumbered. <laughs> what the fuck? How many black people have white friends? <laughs> see? See how they responded, you fucking idiots? I have so much respect for comedians because, yo, all of the stuff that they are able to say and do when they get on stage would give me anxiety. That would make me so anxious. They just get up there and say whatever they want to say. <laughs> That's it. See? See how they responded, you fucking idiots? But you ain't got no white friends, you fucking liars. You know, cause, you know why? Because you talk about white people. Black people, you talk about white people, you motherfuckers. You're like, yeah. You you look, they're already laughing, and you know what the fuck I'm gonna say, Lakeisha? What the fuck you laughing for, bitch? What the fuck you laughing for, Lakeisha? You don't even know what the fuck I was gonna say. Or do you? <laughs> See, they know, they, they do, they talk about us. Like, watch, to the white people that didn't notice, unbeknownst to you, black people say that when we, when white people get caught in the rain, we smell like wet dogs. Look at him, look at him, look at him. What the fuck you laughing for, Shamika? You better relax, motherfucker. Oh. I'll give him some credit because Shamika and Lakeisha are definitely some very black names. He's on point, knows what he's talking about. <laughs> look at what the fuck you laughing for, Shamika? You better relax, motherfucker. All this laughing shit. Look at the white people like, oh my goodness, I didn't even know. So you all say that shit's true? You say like right now, somebody dumped a cup of water on me, Becky, Tammy, Bob, and John. We would smell like some fucking German shepherds. You kiss my ass. <laughs> now white people, you can laugh at this. You're on your own. I'm not telling you what to do. Cause I've been hearing through the rumor mill, like right now if it started raining outside again, rain's kryptonite to black people. Why don't you guys go outside in the rain? I'll tell you why, because your hair will get nappy than a motherfucker. 
<laughs> nappy, 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 nappy. Look at the white people, like, I don't know if I should laugh. Yeah, you laugh, motherfucker. I'm not even mad, because he did his research. That's it. <laughs> nappy, look at the white people, like, I don't know if I should laugh. Yeah, you laugh, motherfucker. They said you smell like a dog, laugh. <laughs> Like, I want to laugh, but there's a black person sitting right next to me. So fucking what? Laugh. You might get beat up after the show, but that ain't on me. I'm high, too. Anybody smoke weed? Yeah. <laughs> there's pros and cons, weed versus alcohol. Pros and cons, weed versus alcohol. Like, everybody that drinks, they look down on people that smoke weed. You think, like, we're drug addicts or dope fiends. Pros and cons, weed versus alcohol. Alcohol's man-made, kills people every day. Drunk drivers every fucking day. Weed ain't ever killed nobody. You could be high right now and go hit a kid with your car. He's all right. You're doing six fucking miles an hour. He's all right. You're cautious. You fucking alcoholics are speed demons with that heavy foot, that lead foot. Pros and cons, weed versus alcohol. Like all you people in there that drink, like all you dudes that get fucked up drunk, you slept with an ugly chick. Look at the dudes that ain't laughing. You ain't laughing because you're sitting with your girl and you don't want to let her know you have a fucking ugly chick. And all you chicks that ain't laughing, you might be that chick. <laughs> you ever went to a gas station high? Like, yeah, let me get 20 on pump. Um, let me get 20 on pump. Um, let me get 20 on pump. Um, man, it's the black car. There's three black cars, and then you gotta go look out the window, find what pump you're on. You're like, man, I'm on pump two, dude, man, pump two. And then you go outside and get right in your car and drive the fuck off. 15 minutes later, you're like, damn! Forgot to pump the gas. <laughs> Funny shit happens to you when you're high. You ever eat a bag of Doritos high? Best Doritos you ever ate. Whoa, these are so fucking cheesy. You think they made them Doritos just for you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something too, being that we have a mixed crowd, I like to get stuff off my chest because I like to educate people once again. Ladies, you need to stop complaining about the size of a man's dick. That was out of left field. <laughs> but, okay. And ladies, you need to stop complaining about the size of a man's dick. Don't believe the stereotype, fuck that, I wear magnums. Carry my own. Don't believe that fucking stereotype. I wear fucking magnums. I didn't say they fit, motherfucker. Relax. I do the best I fucking can. My balls and everything went into this rubber. I'm like, what the fuck? This thing's humongous. I had to tie a knot in the end. I'm like, what the fuck? This must be the extra protection rubber for balls. But women, you can't complain about the size of a man's dick. You can't complain about something that a man has no control over. This ain't a black-white thing, it's a man-woman thing. No man is responsible, nor does he have control over the size of his dick. We got what God gave us. God gave me this nine and a half inch dick, that's what the fuck I got. This is my joke, I'm telling it the way I would like. God gave me this nine and a half inch dick, that's what the fuck I have. But every woman is responsible for the size of her pussy. Yeah, let that shit marinate for a minute, you fucks. Y'all had a song in the late 90s, don't want no eeny weeny Tino short dick man. We don't want a big pussy motherfucker either. Look at the link. That escalated quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. Very big escalation. Yes. Eeny weeny Tino short dick man. We don't want a big pussy motherfucker either. Look at the ladies that ain't laughing. If you ain't laughing, I hit a nervous because you got a big pussy. And if you're a man and you ain't laughing, you ain't laughing because you're sitting with your girl that's got that big pussy. But maybe you're a woman and you don't know that you got a big pussy. That's where I come in. I educate. I enlighten people. Big pussy chicks say dumb shit during sex. You ever hear a girl say this to you when you're having sex with her? More, deeper. 
What? More, deeper. There's no fucking more, there's no deeper. What do you think, I got three extra inches of dick on reserve for later? This is it, dumbass. Take this pump and shut the fuck up. You're a weirdo. I knew I should have fucked your sister. I knew it. Oh my God. Look at all the women in here. I knew I should have fucked your sister. I knew it. Look at all the women in here. Oh my goodness, I always say more deeper. And fellas, don't trip, because if your girl hits you with the more deeper, hit her back. Smaller, tighter. You ain't feeling shit, I ain't feeling shit. <laughs> How many women in here got one of those stallion lover boyfriends, one of them dudes that can make love to you for like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or a half hour? How many women got a, got a dude like that? Look at these happy motherfuckers. Being that once again, I smoke weed, I figure a lot of shit out. You know why your man can make love to you for 15 plus minutes? Because your pussy's horrible. Why do you think it's taking them 15 plus minutes to get a nut? Because it's horrible. Someone's going to be driving his girl home like Ray Lepowski said, your pussy was horrible. Why can't I watch a Victoria's Secret commercial masturbate and come in 17 seconds? But your pussy takes me 15 plus minutes because it's horrible. And um, uh -huh. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna just, um, <laughs> I know that I seem like I'm glitching, because I am, not gonna lie, I'm glitching. I'm very awkward in this moment, and it's because... Nobody really warned me about this. They were just like, oh, do white boys in the hood. And I did it, clearly. But there's nothing else really there, you know? I just didn't know what I was getting into. You feel me? You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's only 25 seconds left of this video. Not saying any of this to say that he's not funny because he is. He's a cool white guy with swag. Like, I like him. I think he's funny. But you know, <sighs> something, uh, we're just gonna, I, I've been talking long enough. We're just gonna keep But going. your pussy it takes me 15, 15 plus minutes because it's horrible. <laughs> and I know what you want to say to me. Well, you must have an orgasm in two to three minutes. Yeah, I do. If the pussy's remarkable, and apparently there's a few in here that are not. Hey, New York, I love y'all. My name's Ray Paul's Get out of here. Yes. So as I said, probably about 15 seconds ago, I think he is funny. I really do. So if you guys want to recommend more videos, you can do that down below. If you just felt like this was just so cringy that you never want to see me do another Ray Lepowski video again, then don't recommend more videos, but that is up to you completely. Have a great day.